Hello, this is Bullet, aka the Passive Aggressive Sherpa. In today's video, we're taking a look at the weekly reset. And once again, there's a complete lack of consistency in the weekly reset, so I'll try to break it down as simply as possible for you. This week's flashpoint is on Titan. I love it when it's on Titan. I love running around there. I like pretty much everything about Titan. Moving on to the Vanguard stuff, we have the daily heroic missions. We've got Looped, Chosen, Pilgrimage, Ice and Shadow, nothing left to say. Today's modifiers are Solar Singe, Blackout, and Brawler. Strikes, you need to complete three of them. Special note, you need to do the strikes with the same light element as someone else is using in order for them to, to matter. I keep doing strikes and forgetting to check what the other uh, elemental uh, power the other people are using. And uh, I'll do five stri three strikes and I'm like, why do I only have one strike showing? So make sure to go into your settings and, and check the other player and make sure you're using the same light as at least one other of them in order to make these count. Moving on to this week's Nightfalls, we have three of them. Remember, you can do one Nightfall. Doesn't matter what your score is. You get powerful gear. Get over 100,000, you get more powerful gear. The Nightfalls are Warden of Nothing, The Corrupted, and The Pyramidian three really good strikes. So that should be a lot of fun this week. Moving on to the Crucible stuff. We've got Quick Play, which is about the only thing I play. Still sucks that they've got, they got rid of the Quick Spawn. Rumble, uh, okay. Supremacy is back, still no mayhem. I don't know what's going on with that. Private match if you're someone that has friends and competitive if you're someone that hates yourself. All right, let's take a quick look at Petra's inventory. She's back at the spot where we spawn in this week. She rambles on here. Her primary powerful gear bounties are the Oracle Engine. Complete the mission, the Oracle Engine. War for the Dreaming City. I didn't even get a chance to read what that was. There's the Ascendant Challenge. I don't know what it is. And then we have Gateway Between Worlds. And then her usual bounty type things here. All right, then we've got the raids. Remember, uh, Leviathan is now under the Nessus map. We've got the usual Leviathan Eater of Worlds. The big one, Leviathan. And then Leviathan Spire of Stars. To get to the Last Wish Raid, you need to look under the Dreaming City, and you will find it there. Taking a look at the tower, we've got Ikora's stuff. You need to complete 20 bounties of any type. And Clan Rewards, complete Clan Bounties. All right. Clan Bounties, or what should really be called doing shit in the crucible why do we even have shacks bounties when almost every damn clan bounty is to do something in the crucible that's ridiculous you're you're killing me smalls anyways these are her bounties all right we're going to take a really quick look at tessa's stuff first the spasmatic matrix and grams if you earn one I'm kind of happy that I have everything and also sad at the lack of life I have because I play so much I have everything. Most of it though, I have to admit is is crap. I like the way that sparrow looks, but uh, I already have exotic sparrows that do more important things. I don't believe I have, no, I do have that. I like that wave, but not at the extent of other ones. And the sad trombone, I like it because it kind of plays a sound. I don't use it, but I like it when other people use it. And that's truly, it's not odd. That's just ridiculous. I, I don't ever use that. 
And we've got more crappy shit. Seriously, what a... There's just a complete lack of... Oh, wait, I don't have this. I kind of want that, but why does all these new exotic things and is all they do is make your sparrow load quick? I mean, that's like the, the primary perk of it. Who gives a shit? I mean, it, it's fine when certain ones do that, but all the sparrows I use already have quick stuff. And these ones, they're just a waste of time. At least in my opinion. Just not, not a whole lot to be excited about this week with Tess, except for that I don't have that that ghost, that exotic ghost, but I want it just because I don't have it, but I won't use it because I've already got 10 other di different exotic ghosts that go and use the, uh, that make my sparrow spawn faster, so I don't need another one. Uh, Miss Cade. I'm glad at least the colonel's still there. I hope somebody's feeding him. All right, that's it for the weekly reset stuff. Now I want to take a minute to update you on some personal stuff, talk briefly about how fucking horrible most people are in the game of Gambit, and to take a comical look at last week's Ascendant Challenge, because it was easiestly the hardest damn thing I've done in a long time in this game. But more on that in a minute. Tomorrow, if all goes as planned, I will be leaving for an overnight trip. I am having a desk built into the closet of my home office. My tiny home office is really small. I have a six foot table and a four foot table set in an L shape right now. Right behind my desk chair is the recliner from which I play Destiny 2 on. I can't really play while the desk is being built. So I've decided to take a mini road trip to go see a big hole on the ground. And then I'm gonna go stand on a corner in Winslow, Arizona. If you don't know why I'd stand on said corner, I feel sorry for your lack of musical experience. My point in sharing this, I plan to leave Wednesday afternoon and return late Thursday. The drive is about four hours one way. I figure by the time I get home, I'll probably be too tired to rehook up all my computer stuff when I get back Thursday night. Seriously, I got like three external drives, wires from my TV and my Xbox, running across the room, plugging into my Elgato game captures thing that runs further along the wall to plug into my PC. There's speakers and shit all over the desk. The thought of having to do all of this is already depressing me. I want to believe I'll have it done and plugged back in before it's time to make my Zer video on Friday, but I realize that's probably a little too optimistic for my lazy ass. Now, game stuff. First, I made a Gambit video last week that almost no one watched. I know almost no one watched it for two reasons. One, as of the making of this video, it had just seven views. Seven. In between my ranting, there was some really good common sense shit in there. Two, I've been playing a crap ton of Gambit, mostly all by myself, mostly. Sure, I have had, at times, teammates, but more realistically, they weren't so much teammates as they were random fucking idiots that had no idea what in the fuck they were doing. So I'm going to make this simple. Stop trying to bank 15 moats. You're going to die and lose them. There's no greater sin in the game than dying with more than 10 moats. Stop invading every time the portal opens. You should invade when the other team is holding a lot of moats. And you should, should invade when the other team's primeval's health is low. If you invade as soon as they call their primeval, you're an idiot. Don't be an idiot. You can head over, kill all of them, and it did nothing. You didn't heal their primeval. You basically wasted four kills. You didn't even really slow them down, and you certainly didn't help your team out. The time you wasted killing them, you could have collected moats and banked them to call in your primeval, or if you had your primeval, you could have done damage to it. Now, lastly, some fun stuff. I want to talk about last week's Ascendant Challenge, because... Damn, I've never been good at jumping in the game, but my buddy Medium sucks at jumping. He sucks so bad at jumping, he makes me look good by comparison. If you don't know, last week's challenge starts off with a lot of jumping in the darkness. And it shouldn't have been so hard. It wasn't that difficult. A normal person could complete this challenge in 7 minutes, maybe 15 minutes if they died once or twice. It took me, not a normal person, nearly a damn hour. Now I will admit that a lot of what took so long was that after 
falling to my death a couple of times, I started looking for shortcuts and I was jumping blind into the darkness, hoping I could make it far enough to hit a platform below the one that I should be jumping on, hoping to skip most of the jumping. I had to stop at one point and load another queen's foil, but I was persistent. I didn't quit and I eventually made it to the end and collected my rewards. I was paid handsomely too, I might add. There were times I yelled and screamed. I cursed everyone at Bungie for making me have to suffer all these indignities of failing. But I persisted, I prevailed, and it was all worth it. But these fails, Medium, this is for you. I hope I did you proud. And that's about it for this video. If you made it this far, thank you. And remember, if you liked this video, maybe hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if we could get 1,187 likes in this video, that'd be great. But most of all, thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.